Hello and welcome back to Oscar Modeling and part 5 of the 1300 Trumpeter HMS Hood build. And uh, at the moment, I've uh, show you where we're at. So all this is pretty much all attached to all the photo etch sections. And I'm going to, uh, there's a couple of pieces here that need to be taken off and replaced with photo etch, which is what I'm building at the moment, going by the Eddard um, detail kit. So these little bits down here, which are hose reels. Um, now, the tricky thing with this is they're very, very small. I don't know if you can see, but it's up to look at. Okay. So, yeah, so there's that little rectangular piece that needs to be bent into a cylinder shape, placed on the end on that piece that I've put together there, and then there's a little ring that will go bit over the end and that will be done. Now as thin as this photo edge is it's going to be literally impossible to bend that into a cylinder. So what I've had to do is anneal the metal. So because it's so small uh, I would just hold these piece tweezers and using a lighter heat it up it goes red and, and then dip it in some water and that softens the metal so that we have a look here will you be able to see this there's one piece there that I've managed to bend and place this on there so, yeah, extremely fiddly. There's two of these I have to make at the moment for this deck. Most likely there'll be more to make. And there's actually some even smaller ones. So, later on. Anyway, I'll get back into that. Now, uh, this morning I've also managed to paint the, the hull, the hull red. And uh, I'll just grab that and we'll have a look at it. It's still not completely dry, but we can have a look at it in a second. Okay, so here's our hull. That all in the camera. It's all been painted. It's come up quite nice. And... Uh, that's still drying. So it's using a, I actually didn't have enough to my to my um, acrylic paint for this, so I use some SMS paint, which is a really nice paint. It goes on nice and solid. And, uh, They'll only need that one coat. Fine. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to continue on with this photo etch, and um, hopefully today we might get at least a section of decking on this. Uh, if well, actually we won't. We will get this painted though. I'll um I'll get a, a primer coat put on this and uh, that dries fairly quick so we may even get a base coat on that as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll we'll be back shortly and I'll show you where we're at later. Okay, so now what I've done is um 
I've decided that, um, well, I found out that some of the little pieces that go on the deck, the um, wood, wood decking will not go over, which means that I'm going to have to paint a lot of separate pieces after the decking, wood decking is put on. So to help with that, what I've done is I've got, see, another wood deck here. Uh, so I've given this and there's another piece drying a coat of a clear coat, a flat clear coat. That will make it easier to clean off any little paints that bits of paint that might get on there while I'm painting all the little bits and pieces, the hose reels and bottoms and little things that are all going to be there. So yeah, so with that clear coat on there, uh, should be quite easy to wipe off the acrylic paint that I'm putting on. So that's the plan for that now. Uh, also, while I'm going to be doing that, I was going to paint the side of the ship, or at least undercoat it, when I realised that in the detail up kit here, um, there's actually photo etch to replace this, I think they call it the degaussing strip. And if you can see here, can't get that in focus at all, probably not. Right, it runs all the way along here and basically around the whole ship from port to stern so uh, all that has to come off i'll have to remove all of that right off all of it um, and the photo edge is all here all these strips here We'll be replacing it. it shouldn't be too hard to do um, it's I'll just hit, hit along there and take that all off and then I'll glue all this photo which on then I'll be able to paint the side of the ship so yeah. I mean I could leave it and not do it but this the photo which does look a lot better than the actual molding on the model so it would be worth doing. So, yep, I'll give that a go. Um, now, the upper deck that I was working on before, that's all been undercoated. That's in the other room all drying. Um, so there's quite a few things starting to be going on at once now. It gets to that stage. What I tend to do is I put little pieces, I label, uh, for instance, upper hull. This is 48, 49, so I know that they'll go on the upper hull. Um, and I'll start labelling and putting things in containers so that I can go straight to them when I need them. Um, yeah, so this I've figured out is not going to be a daily video um, because it's going to be quite slow progress. So I would say every two days. Um, I'll put an update video out of where I'm at and, um, and show the progress. But um, I'm going to get on and start taking off some of this moulding now. And um, when I've done that, we'll come back and have a look and see how that looks. And depending on how I'm going with the time, um, I might make a start on putting the photo etch on there. Yeah, so we'll be back in a second. So as you can see here, I've um, put the, uh, well, I've taken all the moulding off for the strip all the way around the ship, and I've installed the uh, photo etch strips, it goes all the way, see that?
So what I've had to do is um, stick it down with a bit of masking tape just to hold it because each time I cut a strip off the off this uh, sprue, it um, bent upwards. Uh, got a kink, well not a kink, but just bended into a curve in the wrong direction. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's holding it in place. So what I'm going to do now is run along there with some glue and uh, put it down permanently. And uh, once that side's done, I'll do the other side. And um, I'm also going to go in and spray the, uh, the deck upper hull, uh, uh, the upper, what was it, the deck, the upper deck, uh, I'll go spray that for the base coat now as the undercoat's dried from this morning, okay, so I'll get on to that, get back in a sec, I'll show you the result. Okay, so we're back with uh, this uh, photo edge strip, which is now glued down, not quite well. Um, using this um, mid acrylic ultra glue um, makes a huge difference. Um, it goes on with a brush. Uh, it takes, you know, several minutes for it to be dry enough to hold the piece, uh, probably an hour or two to be properly dry, um, but it dries completely clear, clearer than any CA glue. Um, and I noticed that CA glue tends to be thicker, it doesn't dry thin and flat, whereas this, you put it underneath, run it all the way across the length, and it just dries thinner, it's just, there's no raised up section where the glue is at all. It's down quite firm. Now, uh, move this out of the road. Second. A little bit crowded here. Now, now, I have painted the deck here in the final base coat. Um, as it looks a bit patchy, but it's basically only the walls that I need to paint and uh, it's come up quite well. I've also had to, um, there was a gap in the front here which I filled and they come up perfect. You, you wouldn't even know that that had been filled. Um, and there was another spot down the back here. I think it was over there. Just that edge there was also filled, and as you can see, it's a perfect joint now, you can't see it. Um, so the filler I used was Mr. White Putty, it's a hobby, and uh, I've never used putty before in my life, for any reason. Just put that, use your finger, put a little bit in, um, wipe the excess off, done, dries within about an hour, and then the light sand yeah great stuff so i'm going to be keep an eye out for any gaps in future no hesitation to fill so this when it dries i'll leave this overnight um this will be ready for the decking to go down on uh, which will be the next stage for this um, and then after the decking is on There'll be a few little pieces that too big for the decking to go over. They'll go on top of there, and then with a very fine, um, uh, fine brush. Got some fairly nice little ones here. I'll just go along and touch up the little pieces that are sticking out off the deck that need touching up, as they're going to be a slightly darker colour than the actual grey of the main ship, just so they stand out just a little bit, just a slightly darker grey. Um, yeah, so that's it, and uh, I will uh, 
continue on with the the hull and the stripping on the side i haven't started the other side yet so i'll hopefully get some a bit more of that done and we'll come back and have a look and see how that's gone and then of course uh, we'll be able to paint the side of the ship in the undercoat and then uh, and base coat it probably that same day okay back in a sec Do the wood decking here on the to go on to here now there's a piece that goes section here covers down in through here now there was a couple of pieces I put in put on I had to remove fortunately um, on each, one on each side because there's actually no hole in the decking mark for that to go through so they'll have to go on top of the decking it's fitted my concern here is that i've already installed these three pieces here and even though there is holes for them i don't know if they're big enough so this could be a bit of an issue uh, if I have to, I'll cut them off too and put them back after the deck is on, but hopefully we won't have to. So we'll uh, have a go at sticking this down and we'll back and see how the, what the result is.
DM pieces this board here because they weren't going to fit over the top. So it does look like the decking needs to go down before most of the pieces will go on top. Yeah. And what I'll do is um, the pieces in here, I'll attach those, glue those back on, a couple more pieces go in there, and uh, once that bit done. I'm going to work on the center in here. This deck here, this section here, goes around here. Um, so the idea, first of all, would be to Take off all the little pieces where we need the holes to be. And I just lift off this. Quite simple. I just work through those. And this will peel off in one piece. And then hopefully we'll lower down onto the deck. See how that goes. Got that interject on. Very tight fit, um, particularly over these posts. But, um, it all went down okay. Um, did all the corners went in, bottom of the ladders and the doorways, pushed all them in. It's too thick just to. Make sure everything's tucked under there, under the doors, and uh, sitting there. And uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty happy with that. Nice and neat. There's a, another piece to go. It's triangular shape in the front here. Put that on now. It's going. Looks like that'll go quite easily. And. Uh, Look to see what else needs to be doing. Side part of there all done, went down very easily. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of touch up in here with some of the bits inside. I've uh, just gonna dry fit this, will sit over the top. This fits nicely on top. Obviously, a lot of that decking you can't see. Um, notice it's the inside, that area will be open. Coils in there, each side. So, it's uh, a bit more. Well, a lot more work on the top of here to do, but I'll just touch up all in there with paint. And then we'll see if uh, see what the next stage is. Okay, so now I've decided to um, start on the fore and aft decks, uh, and. Because I, I want to get these um, the wood grain decking down on these and then they can actually be attached to the ship. Uh, but what I'm going to have to do first is because there's a lot of molded pieces here that need to be removed and replaced with photo etch, uh, I'm going to just go along and take away uh, the anchor chain a few other little spots here that need to be taken off uh, and then what's left will be the darker I'm doing XF24 
which is uh, dark and grey than the ship's sides and the walls. Uh, so I will spray this what's left of the XF24. Uh, the decking will cover everything other than everything that sticks through, which I want to be that colour. The only thing I will need to actually paint will be the photo edge, the extra pieces I put on, which I will touch up and do. Um, I've finished uh, this. Oops. Over the microphone, um, I've finished the uh, this section here, and I've painted all the, the darker bits, um, which has come up fine. It wasn't hard to do, so no problem doing that. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a start on this and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, at least get this into the stage where it's an undercoat. Uh, some of the photo edge for this are pieces that need to be actually put together, built. There's lots of, uh, we got lots of bits here. So there's little boxes and hatches, and more hose reels. It all can be put on the deck there, so those pieces will all be made up. So that'll be quite a bit of work. Yeah, uh, I've also painted the outside of the ship as well, and uh, we'll have a look at that, see how that's come up. I've just grabbed that now. Okay, so I've got all this is undercoated. The gauzing strip is stuck down and runs the whole length all the way around. So I'll give this a few more hours and then we'll be able to put the base grey coat on there and and that will be done. Um, I still need to do the black waterline mark um, which means I'm going to have to tape this and put tape over that metal etch um, that I did so I want to be certain that that's stuck down very well because I'd hate to peel off the tape after the painting's done and be ripping off the metal etch as well so uh, we'll see how that goes um, I may give this an extra day for everything to dry up and so I'd be a hundred percent sure that nothing's going to lift off with the tape. Anyway, back to see how the next progress is. Okay, so we have some uh, bit of photo which I've been working on here. We go onto the deck. Um, as you can see it's quite small. Little. Um, Hatchways, got one made and the other one to finish bending and folding. Uh, there's two of those and there's two smaller little boxes in there that I've made. And they go onto the foredeck. So we've got some pieces. I've taken off and that will go on there. And a few other size boxes. What I'll do is I'll put the corresponding number, I'll fill them all up in this container. I'll do all the fore deck and the aft deck, all the pieces for both. I'll put them all in here. Um, I've sanded off the pieces to, to be removed. And I'm going to go and um, put some paint on that on the two decks. Uh, there's still some more little hose reels to make and a uh, couple other size hatches to put on. Um, a few other bits, bits and pieces. 
Uh, so once they're all done, I'll have them all in here ready to go. And that'll all go on after I put the wood deck on. Those two, which means these will all be painted separately. Okay, so that's about it for the video for this part five. Um, thanks for watching and uh, well, subscribe when I bring out the future parts of the hood build. Uh, set up notifications to get notified when I release the next video. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to make a comment or anything, you're welcome. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye now.